before we go on break, we have a very important segment uh, for us. And uh, we would like to invite Monica to uh, give a proper thank you and also farewell to Professor Kramer. Monica, please. Yeah, thanks a lot, Serena. And also congratulations uh, to you, Frank Glorious, um, I mean, for the award and also for all your engagement for science. It's really fantastic. And also to all the uh, four uh, Early Excellence in Science Award winners. So continue that path with your passion. So that's really fantastic and, and really shows what you can achieve if you have a real passion for the topic. But now I would like to switch gears and uh, as uh, Serena just mentioned, I have to say farewell to uh, our chair of the Board of Trustees, Professor Patrick Carver. So as by a foundation, we are always looking for advice and guidance of personalities who are scientific leaders in their field, but they are not only look into their own field, who also scan the horizon for new developments who stand in for science in the public and are a role model and inspiration for young people to become scientists. And you, Patrick Kramer, you are clearly such a person and role model. And I want to thank you on behalf of the entire Bayer Foundation board and team, and also on behalf of Bayer for taking over this position from Professor Winaka in 2019. From the very beginning, you were steering the board with great care and gave us valuable advice and support in our doing and in the further development of the programs and also in the selection of the award winners. I remember well when we met the first time in your institute in Göttingen and discussed the strategic direction of the foundation. One aspect had already been by then a focus point for both of us, namely to strengthen and highlight women leaders in science with our awards and programs. That has since been a clear focus area, and I'm proud to say that we made great progress here during the last years. With a gender equal distribution of the Early Excellence in Science Awards and the honoring of outstanding women leaders, such as Professor Edith Hurd or Ruth Lay, with our Family Hansen Award and Otto Bayer Award, we have really made great progress. In addition, we also introduced a program to support young women in becoming scientific leaders in partnership with the Falling Walls Foundation. Of course, there is still a lot of work to do and we will definitely continue that path. But unfortunately, not only we, the Bayer Foundation are excited to have scientists like you, Patrick Kramer, on our board, but also other institutions are keen to have you as a leader. Thus, Professor Kramer has been nominated in 2022 to become the new president of the German Max Planck Society. And his new role will start in June this year. So this is of course a great honor, but at the same time an extremely demanding position which does not leave much space and time for other roles. Thus, sadly for us, Patrick has to resign from the chair position of the board of our foundation by the end of this month. We only let you go with much regret, but of course, we congratulate you for this great and responsible role as president of the Max Planck Society. Given the current poly crisis situation, it is now even more important than ever to have a visionary and committed leader as the head of one of the most important and prestigious science organizations in Germany and around the world. So congratulations from all of us. We thank you very much for all you did for our foundation during the last three years and being the chair of the board of trustees. I and the team, we enjoyed very much working with you and we wish you much success in your new demanding role and all the best for your personal life, many years of health and happiness. And to always remember the time with us, the team has also prepared a little gift for you, which they also now would like, together with Serena, hand over to you. So a big, big thank you for everything 
you did for us and all the best for the future. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Patrick. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank so, should we Thank move you. over here for? Thank you. I think we should come over here yeah. to the center stage yeah. for. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Should I take the? Yeah, video? absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Maybe I can say a few words. Right, absolutely. Maybe if the microphone is on, I, I can say a few words to Monica and the others. Thanks for the very kind words. That's um, very flattering. And I should say I want to thank you, the whole team, the Bayer Foundation, uh, also the other board members for the great time I had. Uh, I learned a lot here. And it gave me a lot of pleasure to do what you mentioned, to support uh, the young scientists, but also colleagues who have clearly excelled in what they do. And why is it important to have such a foundation? I think, of course, because we want to motivate people, right? To stay on their path, to do something big, and to overcome the frustrations that we've heard about. Um, but it's also, I think, important to um, you know, provide leadership or uh, a glimpse of leadership to many other people. So to render, you know, these people that we give awards to visible, and this has a multiplying effect, if you wish. So they will go back home and they will encourage others. And these leaders will attract other outstanding personalities. And we need them everywhere. We need them in industry. We need them in society. We need them in science. Otherwise, this big transformation that we have to go through will not happen. And I think this is why it's so important to have such foundations. We cannot expect that from you know, the government or the taxpayer alone, they do a lot already. But this kind of encouragement, this kind of leadership, this visibility that is generated is so important. I would like to thank the Bio Foundation for everything they did and for everything I could learn here. So all the best for the future. Call me if I can do something for you. <laughs> all the best.